Manage Engine 80 Manager Plus Basics of Active Directory Services Agenda At the end of this session you will know What is an Active Directory Service? What are the Active Directory Objects? Why should we use Active Directory? Active Directory, where all can it be used? What is an Active Directory? Has information about all the objects Users, computers, resources like printers, shared files, folders, in an organization's network. It's similar to a telephone directory. It is a software to arrange, store information. Provides access and permissions based on those, information. Arranges, all the network's users, computers and other objects into logical, Hierarchical groupings. Active Directory information is used to authenticate, authorize the users, computers, resources which are part of a network. Active Directory objects. Physical entities of a network. Can be described by a set of attributes. Objects. Forest. Domain. Organizational unit. User. Group. Contact. Computer. Shared folder. Printer. Site. Subnet. Objects are explained by their attributes, like name, location, department, etc. Container object. Can contain other objects like users, computers, OUs, etc. Leaf objects. Cannot contain other objects, example, users, computers, etc. Security principle object. Objects that can be authenticated and assigned permissions. Each object has a GUID 128-bit globally unique identifier. SID security identifier for each security principle object. Active Directory Forest Highest level of security boundary A complete Active Directory instance Contains objects like Domains Users Computers Printers and other network resources Information and data exchange Can happen only between the objects inside a forest To communicate with objects In other forests Explicitly created forest level trust are required can contain one or more domains, or a combination of domains, or domain trees. The schema or design of an AD is consistent throughout the forest. Active Directory Domain Logical grouping of objects An administrative boundary for objects No limit on the number of objects that can be contained in a domain. Objects need not be in the same physical location. Domain control there is the domain's supreme authority. Domain control there is responsible for all the authentications, authorizations, additions, deletions, edits, modifications. Inside a domain. If an user has access to a domain, he can log on from anywhere on any computer in that domain. The permissions, policies and rights can be set for all the objects at the domain level or at the individual object level as well. Domain tree. Parent domain, child domains tree structure or nested domains. Objects in different domains communicate through trusts, which are transitive, non-transitive, two-way and one-way. By default, all the domains in a forest are connected by transitive trusts. All domains in a domain tree share a contiguous namespace. In short, a domain has four components. A hierarchical structure of containers objects, a unique domain name, a security mechanism to authenticate and authorize access to domain's resources, policies that show how functionality is allowed or restricted for users, computers in a domain. Active Directory Organizational Unit Organizational units can appear only inside a domain, can be used to denote a specific department, location, team, function, etc. OUs are unique inside a domain. 
contains other objects like users, groups, contacts, computers, printers, shared folders, etc. An OU can contain another OUs. Nested OUs have parent-child relationship. All OUs inside a domain are connected. Group policy settings can be set at the OU level. Delegation of administrative control is possible in OU. Child OUs inherit the properties of the parent OU. Active Directory User User is an individual or person who is part of the organization. Gets a unique identity in the domain through his user account. Enters a domain and accesses the domain's resources through a user account. Each user is allowed inside a domain only after authentication and is allowed to access the domain's resources like shared folders, printers, computers, applications, etc. Based on his authorizations, each user account has a unique SID, which authorizes, allows or denies the user access to the network objects and resources. Each user's account is unique and is secured by a password. Active Directory Computer Individual computers, workstations, servers which are part of a network. Each computer has a unique computer account. Computer account allows each computer to be authenticated and authorized for access to the domain and domain resources. A server could be a domain controller or a global catalog server or a member server. Active Directory Contact An individual who is not part of the organization but related to the organization example, customer, supplier, vendor etc. Unlike an user, a contact cannot log on or access the domain or network. Cannot be assigned permissions or authorizations or restrictions. Active Directory Group Contains users and computers who are called members of the group. All permissions, authorizations and restrictions placed on the groups apply to all the members of the group. Two types of groups. Security groups. Used to grant permissions and set restrictions on users to resources. Distribution groups. Used to send email messages to a group of users. Group scopes. Domain local group. To give access to resources in the same domain as the group, users can be from different domains. Global group. To give access to resources that are in different domains to users from a specific domain. Universal group used to give access to resources located in different domains to a group of users from different domains. Why should we use Active Directory services? Highly secure. Possible to have layered security, that is have policies and permissions for security at different levels. Objects can be located anywhere physically yet access the domain network's resources securely. Millions of users can be added to a single domain, easily scalable, highly flexible, readily extensible, easy, efficient search mechanism to locate an object, centralized storage, for users, departments which makes backup and restore, efficient, fast and easy, efficient and effective management of services, because of centralized management of services. Serves as a platform for services like Exchange, SharePoint, etc. Enable single sign on SSO and pre and post action scripts like logon scripts. Individual profiles. Users can have the same environmental settings, immaterial of which computer or location they log on from. Mandatory profiles. It is also possible to restrict the environment that is make only a specific set of applications and services to a set of users or computers. Centralized auditing, which makes it easier to track all the operations. Where can Active Directory services be used? Any organization that has a network setup. Organizations which requires 24 into 7 uptime. Any organization where the number of users, computers or resources will keep changing. Any organization where information, data security is vital. Any organization that operates in multiple locations. Active Directory is the perfect fit for corporates, government organizations, educational institutions, research organizations, healthcare institutions, non-government organizations. 
Active Directory Services is the one-stop solution for a secure, easy, efficient, effective, flexible, scalable, cost-effective management and control mechanism to control all the objects, resources and information in an organization, network. Manage Engine AD Manager Plus. Thank you. For more details about Active Directory Management and Reporting, visit www.admanagerplus.com. Email support at admanagerplus.com. Toll free 1 9 2 5 9 2 4 9 5 0 0.